How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to add Trustpilot as a reviews and testimonial plugin for your Shopify store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the reason that you guys may want to do it in the first place is to get your store that social proof and credibility to entice other customers or potential buyers to purchase items or your products from your store. So to add the um, to add the plugin over to your Shopify store is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account as an administrator. So once you guys are here on the dashboard to configure and uh, manage your store. So essentially what we're looking for here is the Shopify app store. And there are actually two ways to access it. And the easy way is to simply cl click on apps, the app tab, the apps tab right here on the left-hand side of the screen. And uh, this should take you to the apps and sales channel, as you can see here. So when you guys click on this, you should, you should see an option that will take you to the Shopify app store. So from here, you can click on that, like so. And you'll be redirected to this page right here. Let's actually wait for it to load. So because we're looking for Trustpilot to add that credibility to our store, you just want to type down Trustpilot. Here we are. So there's Trustpilot and, and Trustpilot reviews. Actually, this is the one we're looking for. And to integrate it into our store is quite simple. You simply want to click on it, and this will take you to the store page, as you can see here. So this one's free, but there's also a paid plan that comes with more features, although I wouldn't really recommend it as uh, this pretty much gets the job done. And I'm talking about the free plan. So all you guys have to do is click on install, like so. And what we're doing here is basically authenticating Trustpilot to integrate with our Shopify store. So we're going to wait for it to load, let Shopify work its magic, and click on install, and we're done. So let's wait for it. Here we are. So this is what the dashboard looks like once it's properly um, integrated. So yeah, there you guys have it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.